All right, guys, even here with another video. And in this video, I just wanted to share with you some photos that I accidentally stumbled upon. I was searching for photos for another video that you're gonna see tomorrow, probably, or the day after tomorrow. And completely accidentally, I saw this photo and I was like, what the hell is this? From which year is this? And then I did some research and I realized that this is from 2012 New York Pro. And how come that nobody remembers this edition? I was always thinking that the best version of Cedric is 2016 Arnold Classic when he placed second after Kai. But now I'm thinking this is the best of him. This is probably the best version of him. And not just the best version of him, but possibly the most aesthetic and the most complete, in my opinion. In, in my point of view, the most complete physique that ever stepped on open stage since, pff, I don't know, since 2000s? What do you think? Honestly, like, you can see the classic lines, you can see the small waist, dominant arms, everything is popping, look at his triceps, Jesus Christ, look at the, 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 the chest, look at the hamstrings, the quads, everything is on point, he has amazing genetics, and on top of that, he has amazing conditioning, amazing muscular development, the fullness, there are no gaps in his physique, I mean, look at his triceps, compare them to those of uh, Steve Kukla and Juan Morel here, not even close. He's annihilating them. So he had a full, he had a completeness. This guy is so blessed genetically. I mean, let's be real. And uh, he was dry. So you can see his abs here looking very good as well. His abs right now, for the last few years, are not the best. He's kind of holding the film of water in the lower part of his abdominal region. But that back then in 2012 it looked much better and you can see here his chest so that's something you don't see very often in today's modern bodybuilding chest is not something that pops out too much you can see dominant shoulders and arms over chest but not with cedric i mean still you can see crazy lats crazy uh, arms maybe shoulders a little bit a bit smaller but the chest is really really looking good so i like to see that it really makes an aesthetic physique and in this uh, side chest pose, you can see the pop that he has. So not only triceps that are popping, not only biceps, but the chest, the hamstrings, the whole uh, lower body region, everything is on point. He's destroying these other guys. So this could be the best version of Cedric Mill that we ever saw. I mean, I would say so. I'm thinking, yeah. He looked fresh. He was young. He was hungry. So he was probably dieting and training much harder. And for that reason, he looked like this. And this is really impressive. I mean, the legs are popping, the lats are popping, amazing lat spread. This is a transition of a pose, but still you can see amazing development, amazing flow. So he had an amazing flow, very beautiful physique. If you take a look at most open class bodybuilders, you cannot see these kind of aesthetics. He was dry, but I mean, look at this back lat spread. It's very, very dry and full at the same time, but it looks healthy, it looks fresh. It looks like old school with much better completeness, fullness, and the crazy pop on top of it. I mean, we're talking about genetics, and Cedric probably has the best genetics of today. So imagine if he brought this kind of shape with maybe a little bit tighter conditioning. Maybe a little bit. Could Sean Rodden beat this? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. This is super, super impressive. Seriously, guys, this could be the best bodybuilder in the history of bodybuilding. I'm not even joking. Look at the back. And look at this pose here. This is some form of most muscular. His arms are so impressive, so crazy. His legs are big. His abdominal is also shredded. The chest is there. Everything is on point. This could very well be one of the best physiques that I ever saw on bodybuilding stage. Since ever. I don't know about you guys, what kind of taste do you have, but me personally, I think I would say so, alongside a few other bodybuilders, but this is one of the best bodybuilders ever. The best physiques in the world. So what do you think? Do you find this extremely impressive as much as I do? And do you think this is the best edition of Cedric McMillan? Do you think if he came like this in 2019, could he win the Mr. Olympia? I think he could. And that's about it for this video, guys. Make sure to like the video and to subscribe to my channel. All the best. Bye-bye.